Hi friends, welcome to Vafa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 3 in Python playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to get start yourself with Python using Visual Studio Code. So the main agenda of this video is to know about like what, how many IDEs or editors are available for, for Python and how to install Visual Studio Code and how to install Python extension for Visual Studio Code and create a simple program in Python using Visual Studio Code. So first thing is what is editor or IDE mean? So think like uh, if you have watched my previous videos, I written a small hello world code using notepad. That means notepad is a tool or an editor for me to write the Python code, right? So similarly, you can write the Python code in so many variety of the tools. Okay, there are so many variety of the tools available out there in the market. So the leading ones are listed here. Not only this, there are so many else. So like PyCharm is one of the integrated development environment. So it's like a compact thing. It, it will have a lot of full Think like ID is nothing but a tool which will help you to write your code in Python. Okay. So since this playlist is towards Python, we should know like what and all IDEs or tools available for us to write our code in Python or to develop our project in Python, whatever may be right. So PyCharm, Sublime, Atom, Vim, Spider, and also Visual Studio Code. Not only this, there are so many other tools or IDEs or editors are available for you to write your code in Python. So I will be interested in Visual Studio Code, uh, of course, because actually I am from .NET background. So I mostly use uh, Microsoft products. This Visual Studio Code is also from Microsoft. So I will prefer to use my Visual Studio Code to write my code in python or to develop a project in python okay so i am going to discuss how to install this visual studio code and how to install python extension for that visual studio code and how to write a program in visual studio code in python so all these things okay so if i go to next slide so if you see if you really want to install visual studio code in your system you should visit this particular url so let me open that url i have already opened it so once you go to that url you will find a button here, you will find a button here called Windows. So you need to click this button to download installer for Visual Studio Code for the Windows platform. If it is any other platform like Mac and all, you need to click these buttons. Okay. So for time being, I have already downloaded this setup file. Let me double click this and start installation. So I will show you step by step how to install Visual Studio Code and everything. Okay. So let's wait for uh, installer to open here. Okay. So here, we need to select this, I accept the agreement, click next, click next. Uh, if you want to create a short, uh, don't create a start menu folder means if you want, uh, if you don't want to create any start menu folder, then you can select this or else you can leave that as a default, then click next, next, install. So now the installation of Visual Studio Code will actually happening. So let's wait for the installation to complete. Great. Visual Studio Code setup was installed properly in our system. You can see the finish button now. Uh, once I click this finish button, it is going to close my installer and it is going to launch Visual Studio Code for me. So let's wait for the Visual Studio Code to get launched here. So you can see this icon here, right? So right now it is trying to open Visual Studio Code in my system. It will take some uh, three to four minutes initially. So let's wait for that. So let me click this. You can see now Visual Studio Code is installed in my system. Okay, there are two tabs already open, welcome tab and also some release notes tab. So let me close all this. I don't want this. So once you install this Visual Studio Code, what you should do is you should navigate to this extensions here. So you can see this vertical menu. So this icon indicates this like these are like extensions. If you want to browse through all the extensions which are available for Visual Studio Code, you need to go there. So it's think like these are like plugins. So since I am concerned about with, uh, Python coding, so I should search for Python extension here. So the moment you search with the Python keyword here, you can see the Python extension here. Select that Python extension. So this is the Python extension which is available for Visual Studio Code. Simply click this install button here, which will start installing Python extension for your Visual Studio Code. So you can see right now installation is in progress. Let's wait for the installation to complete. Great. Now we can see uninstall button this here. That means Python extension for Visual Studio Code is installed for us properly. Okay. So now let me close this Python extension plugin related window here. And now let me navigate to this explore button. 
okay so usually so with this we are done with installing visual studio code and also installing python plugin for our visual studio code so now how to start my development how to so previously in my past video what i did i opened a notepad and i written a python code there and i saved it like dot py file right so in the visual studio if you want to start with uh, uh, your development what you should do you should create a folder on your uh, system and inside that folder you should you, you should place all the python files okay so let me do this open folder so what you need to do click this open folder so it will pop up you your file explorer maybe let me navigate to desktop uh, maybe i will create a new folder here for my project development maybe thing like python uh, python demo okay so inside this folder i am going to place all my python files so like that create a folder and select that folder so once you select that folder it is going to load into your uh, visual studio code see here python demo this is the folder okay so right now the folder is empty so nothing showed under this python demo folder so i want to create a new file new file here no python file simply click this new file icon here maybe i want to name it like hello world dot py because all python files has to end with python extension then click enter see right now i created one file called hello world dot py which is under this python demo folder so this is the file you can see right now i have selected that file let me close this welcome tab here so right now i am under hello world dot py file okay so now if you want to write any code here this is where you should start writing so uh, let me write a simple code here okay let me close this python get started window so maybe let me type like print so as usual like last time code maybe i want to print a message saying hello world okay so once you do your development uh, you can run this so think like this is very simple program which is going to print like hello world okay so once you complete your uh, development you, you can run this program actually to run this program you can click this uh, run python file in terminal button here let me click this so you can see here right now it is running my python let me close this see you can see here it is actually exactly similar to what i what we executed in our past windows using command prompt right in the command prompt if you really want to execute this hello world.py file what you should do let me recap you very quickly let me open command prompt then let me navigate to desktop because that is where we saved our python file right let me go to desktop and python demo so this is the file right what you should do if you want to run this python file take this entire path maybe like type python space slash hello world dot py right press enter see the moment you do this it is going to take this python file and take the code inside it and run it on python runtime and it is going to print the output of that particular entire code see that's what the same thing happened even in the visual studio code you no need to open any command prompt to run it so simply click this run button which is going to run your python code right now this is the code if you observe this terminal tab here below you can see the same thing happened it executed uh, your python file called hello world.py and it printed hello world right so that's how it will work okay so this video intention is to quickly explain how to set up visual studio code ide for python development i think we are good so far so we are going to continue our all sessions using visual studio code mostly because i, I will prefer to using visual studio code for my python development okay so let me go to our presentation so that's what it is in this video i think you liked this video thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you